In today's video, I'm giving my 14 year old son's room a good spring cleaning. I'm washing bedding, vacuuming mattresses, washing walls, and moving all the furniture around to clean underneath it. With our upcoming move, I'm trying to get as much cleaned as possible beforehand so it's one less thing I have to worry about towards the end. Also, if you stick around for a few minutes of the video, I'm gonna give you another sneak peek of our new house. A couple bedrooms and the main bathroom. So pop my video on your TV, tablet, or phone and clean along with me or sit back and relax with your favorite drink and stockpile that cleaning motivation for future use. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like my video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell notification for more inspiring motivational videos. Let's be friends on Instagram too. You can find me at at home with Elizabeth. All right, I'm gonna start off today by getting his bedding taken off and getting it in the washer. Um, I wash bedding about twice a month, about every two weeks. So um, that's what we're gonna start with first so I can get it done so I can make his bed at the end. And as you saw there, my kids always need water in their bed when they sleep at night. Um, but he had a giant jug of water. <sighs> All right, so we're in my laundry room and I'm just getting some powder tied putting my washer on my towel setting with hot water and an extra rinse. And I'm going to add my Lysol laundry sanitizer because it's bedding and yuck. All right, and as you noticed, my um, soap need to refilled and then so does my sanitizer so what I do is I buy that big jug and I keep it down below and then I just refill the small one because it's easier to handle and this is I buy the big box of pow powder tide and then I just fill up this little container I got it um, it's from the Target um, like dollar spot I don't know how long ago I got it maybe a year ago maybe a year and a half it's just easier to work with all right folks here is the um, sneak peek of our house. This is one of the bedrooms. Um, this will probably be my nephew's bedroom. It's like the next to biggest bedroom. And then that's my husband there. He's just looking at some paperwork and we're going to go into the bathroom. Um, I want to welcome you. Oh, I guess I'm showing you my hall closet first, my linen closet. Um, I want to welcome you or welcome you back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Elizabeth. I'm a 50-year-old 50 50 year wife and stay-at-home mom to seven adults slash teenage children. I have two girls, age 25 and 21, three boys, age 19, 16, and 14, and I'm an auntie to two additional teenage boys, 15-year-old twins, um, and we are moving into our first home. Our close date is supposed to be around May 1st, and this was um, this was about a month ago. We got into the house and was just taking some videos. Um, I wanted to get a lot of the um, like cupboard space and stuff like that, just so I can kind of know what's going on um, before we move, kind of make some plans. All right, we're just going to get my son's mattress vacuumed. I just found that sticking in the bottom of his bed. Like that's not dangerous. Oh my God, teens. All right, this is one of the like one-sided mattresses. You can't flip them over, but I do try and rotate them a couple times a year just to keep them um, in good shape. All right, these are actually his clothes that I washed two days ago maybe just a day ago. Um, normally I just fold them and he puts them away, but because I'm deep cleaning his room and I need this clothes basket to put his dirty clothes in, I am going to fold them and put them away for him.
All right, right here, I looked up and I noticed when I, must have been when I moved the mattress, I, he has a drop ceiling. I kind of messed up one of the tiles, so I'm using one of his lacrosse sticks to um, try and get it correct. So this is me doing a little handy dandy work. several different pairs of socks in his laundry that belonged to a couple of the other kids. So that was kind of what those cutting in and outs where I was just taking them to a different room. Um, so I'm just getting his pants hung up and I'm gonna leave the room because you know, two rooms over is where I keep my, hang my laundry up to dry. So I just had to get his shirts and his hoodies that I hang up to dry so I can get them hung up. And then I'm going to switch to his dresser here and we're going to get his clothes put away. All right, um, those are his shorts. He doesn't have a lot of room in this um, closet type thing to hang up his shorts and his pants. So I keep his good shorts in that tub on top of the closet. So now we're just getting all these dirty clothes picked up that were just laying on the floor because his laundry basket was in the laundry room. Um, and then we're going to, I believe, get his dresser moved. We'll see coming up here. All right, so I'm just clearing off his dresser and I'm taking everything into, right there on the right, that doorway, that is a full bathroom that is shared by my sons downstairs here. And then that room there that I just walked in is my oldest son's room. Um, he's away at college, um, so we kind of use it for um, like my laundry stuff. That's where I hang up my stuff. Um, so we're getting this dresser wiped off. I just vacuumed up some crumbs and I'm gonna get it wiped off and we're going to get it moved into that other room. Well, you're going to see me struggle to move it into the other room. And of course the dust, there's so much dust in our house. Um, we have like forced air, gas, heat, and we're at the time of the year where there's lots of pollen and just, you know, there's a lot of people living in this house. So it's just, it, we get dusty, really dusty. All right, we are going to start by getting these walls washed. Um, and I just kind of move around the room, just work in section by section. Um, that's what you gotta do when you have a smaller room and it's filled. I just move stuff from side to side and kind of in a circle. And then of course we vacuum kind of in the same vein. All right, we're going to get this closet cleaned off. And I think shortly after I moved the dresser, I decided that I wanted to move his, this closet type thing over where the dresser was and put his dresser in this 
corner where the closet is. Um, I just think it'll flow a little better with his bedroom. So I gotta tell you something folks. So I'm washing this walls right here and a little later in the video, um, I move his electronics out up there and I start to wash the walls. And as soon as I was done, I was like, I moved to under the window right there where his lacrosse are. And I'm like, why did I not wash this corner of the room? And friends, 10 minutes I searched for video that I thought I lost or I thought that like I forgot to hit record because you know I'm famous for that until I finally went back and was re-watching my video and saw that I did that corner before I did this right here under the window. All right, so we're done washing those walls because I've talked so much. Now I'm moving all of his electronics up. This is his Xbox, his TV, his controllers, his keyboard. Whatever, I'm moving it into the other room so that I can get this area washed. And I will tell you friends, when I move this back, I do not plug anything in. This mama does not know about electronics. So I unplugged everything, moved it, cleaned it, moved it back, and I just left it. So when he got home from school, he had to reconnect everything. All right, we're just getting this little table wiped off and then we're going to move his little neon sign and then we're going to get to washing. just want to let you know the vacuum I'm using right now is a shark rocket I bought it way back in 2014 um, we had just gotten a golden retriever and I needed a good vacuum um, and so I bought this from Walmart and if you can see but there's definitely dirt on that wall from his feet hopefully it comes off and of course a big hole. I want to say I paid I think about $1.99 for it. Um, so this was 10 years ago folks so the, it was an expensive vacuum at least back then. Um, but this thing is going it still is going strong. It's a little worse for the wear. You can tell that it's been beat up um, because once I got my Dysons, I let the kids use this. So they haven't taken as good as care of like the outside, um, but it is still going strong. And I really believe this is what I think I'm going to use when we move to our new house because our new house is completely carpets. Um, but it's still, you'll see at the end how much stuff sucked up. It is, it's still going strong after 10 years. And I do show you here in a minute, you can kind of see it from here. Most of the wall came clean where his, where he'd put like his feet up and stuff. And when you know it, later this evening, when I came downstairs to do something and he was sitting at his table playing video games, he had his feet on the wall. So the good news is his walls were really not that dirty um, because about a year ago, I think it'll be a year ago in May, um, this basement flooded. There was a water main break and so it was re-renovated. Um, and so they had painted the walls. The bad news is, is it's crappy builder grade paint. So my water was very white. <laughs> 
from washing the walls. All right, now we're just getting his under his bed cleaned up. This is just he went to a sleep at sleep over last weekend and didn't put a sleeping bag away, so I'm just doing that now. All right, we're gonna get this bed moved across the room so that I can get back there and vacuum and wash those walls. I should also mention that's why this carpet looks so nice and it gives me such beautiful vacuum lines. It's because it's literally less than a year old and his bed has been over that spot the entire time. So that's like pristine carpet. Right, we're getting the bed moved back and then I think I'm going to now start putting the room like back together so this is just a few of his little trinkets that I let him keep under his bed um, just like some Legos and some model cars and stuff and then I think we get the table put away and then I think we move to the other side of the room See, I'm going to put his dresser in this side of the room, then we're going to get his desk put back together, and then the closet. So I am going to dust everything that I get back on his little electronics table there too. Came clean. Wow, there's my dryer. Always doing laundry, friends. sure if I mentioned this before I mean I showed you but I'm using um, the pledge multi surface cleaner I believe is what they call it um, I like it for like um, instead of like regular pledge and I just ran upstairs and I got I was using paper towels earlier but I just ran upstairs and got a microfiber cloth to do the electronic stuff
could at least untangle all his wires for him and I cleaned them all too. So when he um, got home from school and went to plug everything in, it was like very nicely, like he didn't have to untangle wires or anything. And I did like set everything up, like put the wires behind the table and stuff. He just actually had to plug the stuff in just because I was afraid I was gonna plug in something wrong. So it wasn't too hard of a job for him to do. And get his closet set up now. Um, I'm just gonna get it dusted and then we'll get everything back on it hanging up and everything on top hung up too. These are his disc golfs. My, all of my boys are into disc golf. They love disc golfing. Um, it's good exercise for them, and like we have, literally have a disc golf course right up the road, like two minutes. So um, they like to go up there and do that. All right, just got his clothes basket back under his closet and his lacrosse bag. We're getting his lacrosse sticks hung back up, and now we're going to get his dresser. I don't set it up like super, super nice again because we're moving here in three weeks and got to pack everything. I'm just trying to get it contained right now. And I'm putting the clothes bat, not the clothes basket, the sleeping bag away. It goes in our closet there. I just took his other blankets, the one that was on that window and the red one he uses like when he's gaming in his chair, they need washed. Um, I actually had to, after I washed my son's bedding, I had to do my nephew's clothes because it's his day to do laundry. So I couldn't get the other blankets washed. But then I just brought out some of his bedding. We're going to get this last wall washed. I'm going to show you the water and then we're going to get his bed made. Here it is. And you can see that it's dirty, but it's mostly white because of the Builder Grades paint that is just kind of crappy. All right, we're gonna get the last of that vacuuming done here. I just got it in his room and this is the hallway leading into his room. Just gonna get it vacuumed kind of as a continuation of his room. And then we're gonna get his bed made. So friends, we are coming up on May 1st. Um, I am hoping to start packing and videotaping some of that for you guys. Um, just to kind of bring you along with our moving and also show you that I'm sure that I'll declutter a ton of stuff. Um, but hopefully soon, this weekend, we're going to start packing. Um, I guess I should mention this is Betty's. Um, I bought this, I think, in 2017 um so that's what three four five six seven years ago 
six years ago and I mean it looks brand new it holds up so well um, it is definitely worth the price if you can afford it it's definitely worth it all right friends we have about two minutes left I found a ball was in his laundry his sheets tangled up in there um, anyways we have about two minutes left um, I want to thank you for joining me today I really appreciate it if you could do me a favor like this video um, drop me a comment below let me know how you're doing on your spring cleaning um, if you've started if you're done um, if you don't spring clean I know that there are people who don't do that And there you can see everything I picked up. So yeah, it still works pretty good. All right, we're gonna give you a little tour.